All right, it is Saturday morning. We're at Bayview. Um, this is a species I recently become uh, introduced to called the button fowl. Uh, this was one of two. This is the sole survivor. And uh, having a hard time surviving even today. All right, it turns out that this guy somehow got loose and the household kitty went and, uh, and attacked him. So we have a small laceration that I'm about to repair very quickly and then we'll send him home with some antibiotics and chances are this guy will do fine. But we gotta get him sent fixed quick or it's gonna be an issue. All right, so um, he's too small and, and mom's already worried about the bill. So <laughs> we're gonna do this with as good a local block as we can do and then a few quick sutures. All right. Later, little buddy.
All right, there was a rather large hole right here. This guy was actually attacked by a cat. We're going to go ahead and send this guy home with some antibiotics. Um, and uh, this was done with a local block. If you watch the video, you notice he wasn't struggling too much. Most local blocks are pretty effective, but they still sometimes feel something. The bad news is these guys are so sensitive to local blocks, we've actually lost birds to local blocks before. And general anesthesia, seeing as how he's lost a lot of protein and probably even some blood, might be even more dangerous. So sometimes it's just best to toughen up, you snowflakes, and take care of these guys and save them versus let them die or kill them with kindness. Um, and don't get me wrong, killing something with kindness is fun. I do that to my haters all the time. <laughs> Bad news is, when it comes to my patients, you guys can eat crap. All right. <laughs>